me ask you a personal question. Whatever motivated you to have children? Your children are totally neglected by you. You have farmed out their raising uh, to everyone else. Their schooling you've given to another. Character building you've given to their coach. Their religious instruction you've given it to the youth minister and the pastor. Why did you have children? Did you bring children in the world just to make your economic difficulties greater? Or why did you do it? Because you were supposed to? Was it an accident? Why do you have children? And I would ask you that even now. And for you young men, I want you to think about this. When one day you are married, why do you have children? To neglect them? To have other men and women play a greater role in their life? That's absolutely absurd. You have children because it is the will of God and you have them in order to raise them for the glory of God, that by the grace of God, they might become Christian. And as they become Christian, then they might grow to a mature man or woman in Christ and that they might be part of the advancement of Christ's kingdom in the world. Don't think you've done your job because you simply provide or you take them out on vacations every once in a while or put them in a fishing boat and take them fishing. Are you instructing them in the word of God? Are you teaching them to pray? Are you being an example before them? Are you governing your home under the commands of Christ and for the glory of Christ? That's the question. Why do you have children? Listen to what God says to Abraham. For I have chosen him so that he may command his children and his household after him to keep the way of the Lord by doing righteousness and justice so that the Lord may bring upon Abraham what he has spoken about him. He's chosen Abraham so that he might command his children and his household. If you are married, it is to command your children and your household. Command them with love, command them with mercy, command them with grace, but to lead them, to teach them, to instruct them that they might obey Christ in believing in him and loving him and loving others and that it might be well with them. I've lived and worked in missions most of my Christian life, and I have a lot of probably a lot of hang ups and a lot of problems, but I really don't care a whole lot about money. And I really don't care a whole lot about leaving my children a great inheritance of money or anything else. Now, I want to provide for my family. I want them to be able to live with dignity, but I have a greater gift to give my children because money in the hands of the godless and the ungodly only lead to judgment. The gift I can give my children is the gospel of Jesus Christ. The gift I can give my children is a father who seeks to live out the commands of Christ, which are all summed up in this, to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself. That is something I can give my children. No matter how poor I am or how rich I am, that is the greatest gift. Men, that's what you're to be about. Your heart is to beat with that type of mentality, that passion. I care about the world. I mean, I have meetings every day discussing how we can enter into places that are closed and all sorts of things and trying to pray down walls that are keeping the gospel out, all sorts of things. But that cannot be to the neglect of my children, to the neglect of my wife. You must focus on the first things. And that is you have been chosen to command your children that they might walk in the fear of the Lord and it might be well with them. Do you love your children? I know you do. Do you want it to be well with them? What does well mean? It doesn't mean a lot of money because a lot of people with a lot of money commit suicide. It doesn't mean fame or power or the respect of the community. You want, to, want it to be well with your children? Then think eternally well, that they might know God and His Christ, and they might dwell in fellowship with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit throughout all of eternity. That's the goal of the Father.